Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at vibrance versus saturation. They both do a similar job in that they both lift colors up, okay, but they do it in different ways and <laughs> let's see which of them is better. Subtle Dan. All right, it's a new day. Maybe not for you, but for me it is. You can tell, caffeined up, ready to go. Um, I'm going to show you a different way to import images. Well, we've discussed it, but I want to start using, mixing it up a little bit so you can get a feel for which one you enjoy the most. I'm gonna use the shortcut. Okay, we're gonna hit Command Shift I on a Mac to import our image on a PC. It's Control Shift I. So tap that, that might be the one for you. Uh, let's bring in 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so we've got these three, bring them in. The one I want to start with is this uh, DJ set here. So have that selected, hit D, hit G, no, not G, <laughs> sorry, D to bring it up, and then E for editing settings. And close down light if it's open. We're just going to work on color and vibrance versus saturation. So to explain it, actually just show us. Let's um, keep an eye on this orange wrapper thing here. If I go saturation up, can you see it just goes a bit mad and gets oversaturated. So reset, drag it up. Okay, it just gets all blown out and gross. Okay, so let's look at that compared to Vibrance. Okay, so Vibrance all the way up. Ooh, can you see this that was already saturated got mostly left alone. And everything that was kind of a little bit saturated uh, got raised up to join his bright orange friend. So it looks after the ones that are already saturated and brings up those lower ones to meet it. Okay, you very rarely would go full Vibrance. I guess it's just an example, but you get the idea, right? I'm gonna reset it. Let's look at saturation all the way up. So I'm going to use my backslash key before, after, before, after. You can see it works. Saturation is great. It's bringing up all this, but it's also wrecking this. So I'm going to reset it. Okay, and vibrance all the way up, on, off, on, off. You'll notice that this stays fine, but all of these come up as well. So that's the secret recipe. Just don't use saturation, use vibrance. Okay, I never use saturation. There you go. I said it. Sorry, saturation, but vibrance does uh, a better job in almost all cases. Uh, what it's also really good at is protecting skin tones. So again, saturation all the way up. See his skin went orange, okay? Because it's kind of just went, everybody, <laughs> forwards. Everyone get brighter <laughs> or more saturated. I don't care what you are, okay? And skin just gets dragged up and you end up with like pink skin and orange skin and sunburnt skin. So let's reset it again. And vibrance, watch what happens. Oh, there's a, like it fills out a little bit. The skin just gets a little bit fuller, but there's some amazing goodness going on inside of that vibrance technology that protects skin tones, okay, and doesn't drag them up. Dragged up this kind of like stained glass stuff here at the back, whatever that is, but protects the skin tone. So you'll never drag it all the way up. You end up, you know, my rule, just to pass on my rules to you, is I drag this up. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the beginning. I'll drag this up looking at it and I'm going too far. You know, I find where I want this to be, okay? And then I'll drag it back a little bit, okay? Because I know through experience that wherever I get it, you know, I'm like, okay, perfect. I'll go away, come back and go, whoa, <laughs> way too much vibrance. Okay, so what I do is, you know, kind of, I don't know, cut to the chase and go, yeah, perfect. Back a little bit, okay? So even now that's probably a bit too much. Here we go. So yeah, don't overcook the vibrant, or at least overcook it until <laughs> you work out your own kind of uh, calibration of how much vibrance is good for you. Okay, I've got this example in here, mainly to show you that sometimes it doesn't matter, like saturation all the way up is actually quite nice in this image, okay? And it's not much difference from vibrance. There is differences, okay? But there are times where actually vibrance and saturation do a very similar job. It's when you've got clearer um, skin tones. Hers has quite got an orange cast on there as well, but that's from lights behind her. Okay, but sometimes it does do a very similar job. Let's look at this one here. Okay, so I'm on this one. These first two are just JPEGs. Okay, and the second one here is a raw image. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things that might happen to you. So I'm gonna hit auto. Did you notice Vibrus just went up? Okay, first of all, auto, we've learned in an earlier class, does these things, okay? It does the exposure, contrast, highlights. So I'm gonna undo, so that's what it does. But it also does a tiny bit in color, and often it's vibrance. Why? Because raw images have a tendency, as they are shot, to be a little washed out. Not washed out in terms of color, it tends to be muted, because they are trying to like capture all sorts of color data that you can adjust later on. They end up looking a little bit flat. So Lightroom goes, hey, that's always the case. As part of auto, let's bump up vibrance. Okay, so you might notice that sometimes vibrance is already uh, bumped up and you're like, hmm, why is that? 
it's because you've used the auto setting. And so my auto got me close. Let me go through this. I'll just zoom in. I just wanna, I don't know, fix the image a little bit more. Okay, fixed it. I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> okay, uh, so I've got it how I want. Now with vibrance, watch this. If I, well, a good example is saturation. Watch your skin here. So let's zoom in on it. Who remembers the zoom tool? Okay, hold down the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC and drag a box around where you wanna go. So saturation is going to push your skin way too far, okay, and make it kind of red and magenta. But if I do vibrance, can you see it's still doing stuff like it's still affecting the skin, but it's protecting it a lot more and you'd never jump it all the way up. Okay. Cause that's just too far. Okay. And, but let's have a look, zoom all the way out. So just click it once. Okay. And let's have a look at vibrance. Look, it's doing everything else. It's kind of awesome. It's too far. Okay. But there are so many cool colors going on in this. And if it does start affecting the skin all the way, say you want it like this it is affecting the skin. Later in the course, we'll do a mask to protect her specifically. But for the moment, let's just drag it up so it's not affecting her skin, but it's doing some nice stuff to the background. So before, after. Oh, look at all that good color information that was hidden there, hidden versus the sky. All right, that's about all I've got to share. Saturation, you can drag it down. I allow you to drag it down. I said, don't use it. You can drag it down, that's fine. It gives you black and white, but it's not really a good black and white. There are some amazing ways to make black and white images, which we'll do in the color grading part of this course. So save yourself for that. Don't use saturation for that. But you can sometimes just knock down saturation if you want everything to come down a little bit, it's fine. It's probably still better just to knock down vibrance. All right, that is it. Vibrance versus saturation. Use vibrance, use it sparingly, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.